Hello, did you call? Just waiting. I need to go to the emergency room. This gentleman right here, I was at, I came in to purchase some uh, items from 7 Eleven, and I had got two drinks. I had a brownie, sunflower seed, and at first I didn't have enough money, so I said, let me go out to my car to get my, my wallet. Came out to the car to get my wallet, came back in, and I wanted to do multiple, you know, split payments. He told me that he couldn't do split payments, and he just seemed like he was so agitated and irritated with me. So I said, okay, well, fine, just take the brownie off, and I'm, I'll pay you know, for them separately. He took the brownie and slung it behind them. I'm like, why would you do that? I was about to purchase it. Well, there go more brownies if you want to purchase them. So you know what I did? I said, fine, you can have this. I didn't, I didn't take anything off the register or throw nothing at him. As I was walking out the door, he took this cup and slung it and hit me upside my head as hard as he could. And I want to press charges. This is my witness here. His girl, or I'm not sure who she is. You, said, been, you said you need rescue? Yes, what, I do. What do you need rescue head, for? My head is hurting right now. From from the from soda? the impact to my head. Yes, my okay. head is hurting. Well, let me let him know to come out, come over to check you or out. I, okay. Or I either I can go to the hospital, however it go. But one thirty one Bravo Rescue can move in. So this gentleman right here, he's a witness for you. And there's another lady in her car as a witness. We're, Several we're at, people in that car over there. They stayed. The me. Mercedes? Uh, no, 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 the Sonata. The one next to the Mercedes over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go uh, talk to these folks too. Let me uh, grab your name and your info real quick here. When did this all happen around? This happened about 10 minutes ago. 10, uh, 10 to did, 15 uh, minutes ago. Do you have your phone with you? Does that show the time you called us? Oh, uh, matter of fact. Yeah, so it happened about 15 minutes ago because I tried to run my car at about, I called you 10 24. At what, uh, what time was that at? I tried to run my car that said seven minutes ago, but it had declined. That's when I asked him about doing, uh, just taking it off, and I just, you know, pay for it separately. And this all happened at the register area? Mm -hmm. When he took the brownie and swung it, and I just pushed the stuff, said, you know, fine, I, you know, I'm not going to get this stuff. You're going to treat me like that. And he was just basically he upset because you were trying to divide up payments on it. He was already upset, agitated. <laughs> He had walked away from the register when I pushed the stuff back and said I find out. And, and that's, took, that's the cup this you threw at you? That he it's a big gold. What would you have in there? I had a, uh, this is a lemonade that I had in there. It's all over the floor uh, in the ice. And where did it hit you on your head, you said? Right here. On the left side of your head? Yes. You might have to take a look, see if you got any kind of injury there. Looks like rescue just got here. My neck Just hurt. right here? Yeah, he hit me so hard. No lungs, like, cuts, nothing no, like that? But okay. my neck is hurting and the side of my head is hurting yeah. okay. from well, the impact. The rescue's here, they'll come take a look at you. Are, uh, are you a witness to this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw what happened. I'll talk to you each separately. I'll talk to you first and I'll get with you, sir. This is uh, your patient here. I'll talk to you first. All right, do you mind if I grab your name and your info for me? I was in line. You were at the register? Yeah, it was a little line. And they were, well, he and his girlfriend was in front of me. And what did you see happen? So I was standing there, you know, I saw her. She was standing there. I guess her card wasn't working. Her card wasn't working. So, you know, he was getting frustrated. Then he hopped over to the other side, took somebody else. And then I guess he came back over there to where she was. And she tried her card again, it wasn't working. And she was like, okay, well, just take this off. I guess it was the brownie because he grabbed it and threw it. And I was like, what the heck? So once he threw the brownie, it went up by the tobacco products and landed up there. And then, you know, he walked over to the other side again and started helping somebody else. So she just pushed the two drinks she had on the counter, pushed them down. What do you mean she pushed them down? She was just like this. And it like, just fell over. She's going like She this. pushed them off the counter? No. Or they, they jumped the over, no. pushed them over on the counter? No, they were like this, and then fell over. So and she just... didn't spill all over this place? No, they still had the caps on them. So the oh, drink, okay. So one of the drinks that was on the counter that tipped over, he picked it up, 
Because as she was walking to the door, he picked it up and he chomped it at her and threw it. And then it hit on the left side of her head and opened up and bust on her. You saw him pick up the, the big gulp and throw it at her? Yeah, it was the like a did. yellow, something yellow in that cup. Because there was something white in the other cup. And you saw it hit her? Yeah, it hit on the left side of the head and the cup opened up. It bust open all over. You know, and then she turned around and was like, are you serious? And then after that, he sat up here and grabbed something else. I don't know if it was like one of the scanners or something, act like he was going to throw it at her or something. He was like, keep throwing stuff at me, but I didn't see her throw anything at him. I mean, when she put the drink over on the counter, it didn't spill, it didn't yeah. touch him. He was on the other side of the counter, so I don't know what he was talking about she threw at him, because I didn't see her throw anything at him. And tell me what you saw. Well, the lady was trying to check out at the cash register in her car. And where were you at that time? I was standing right behind. You I were was lying? the first person in line. And her car wasn't working. So when she tried to split pay it, like the worker was acting all extra for no reason, he threw his hat over the counter. Then he threw her brownie all the way up in the air, almost hit the roof. And then she, at that point, she was like, all right, I'm good. So she had scooted the stuff back towards him. And then that's when he had grabbed the cup and threw it over his head and hit it in the head with it. Thank you for the Hello, sir. Are you the only employee that's here right now? All right. Uh, I'm going to need to speak with you. Uh, I know you got some customers in the store. Is there any way that maybe we can just close up for a minute while we speak with you? Yep. All right. Sweetheart, is all you're getting coffee? All right. That's it? You're good. Thank you. There's one more customer. She's going to leave with This lady here? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. So, uh, let me make sure I got your info here. Is this golf port address up nope. to date for you? What charges am I looking at? Well, I'll talk to you about that in just a second, but I got to interview you about what the allegations are here, first, okay? So, a uh, lady outside is alleging that a battery occurred, that a drink was thrown at her, hit her in the head. So, we're here to investigate a battery allegation. Um, you've been identified as suspect in this, so before I ask you any questions about what happened, I need to make you aware of what your Miranda rights are, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I explained to you? No question on any of that? And having your rights in mind, are you willing to talk to me about what happened? Not really, but I will. You do or you don't? I don't need a camera, man. Y'all got cameras. Sir, uh, you can we're, we're kind of close for a minute. I'm sorry? Man, there's cameras on now. Yeah. Are you, are you willing to talk to me then? On record? Yes, on record. You don't want to speak? Okay, that's your right. Um, there, there are cameras in here. Is, uh, is there any way we can take a look at the cameras? Do you have access to the cameras? You don't? I don't. My boss is here. All right. Um, did, did we hear back from Echo yet? Um, yeah, I'll talk to you about it though first. All right. Well, uh, just let I mean, me make you aware. If it's a case where I gotta call my boss and he has to have somebody come in because I'm going to jail, let me so, know. So, I so, can... based on I have two witnesses who decided to uh, stick around to talk to us about what happened. They're yeah. giving corroborating statements about what happened, saying that you threw a big gulp drink at the lady's head. I absolutely so, did. Okay. I mean, the evidence is right there. Okay. Well, based on that, that's uh, sufficient for us to arrest you for a battery charge. Okay. Okay. I don't know what your criminal history is right now. We're still trying to so, figure that I out. Have, have I you have ever been arrested for battery before? I've been arrested for domestic violence, um, a capital sexual battery. Okay. So you got a history. That was a, no. That was when I was 13. I'm 35. That okay. was, How about since you've been an adult? Have you been arrested for any kind of batteries? No? Okay. 
We still just have to check it's, your It's your cool. I got, a, I got a domestic um, violence, which I don't know if it was dropped you, or not. You, depending on the circumstances, you may um, qualify for an adult diversion. I just have to check on your criminal history and see if I you doubt that. qualify for it. I doubt it. You doubt what? Do you qualify for an adult diversion? Okay. I mean, well, I'll still check into it. You're, but if you're, if you're talking to somebody that has a charge that he could have gone to prison for for the rest of his life, I highly doubt I qualify for a diversion. Okay. Well, then, if I, it sounds like it might be a good idea for you to call to see if you can get another employee in here so that uh, they can work here. Because if uh, if I can't give you he's an adult not, diversion or he's anything, not, he's not going to do anything until I know for a fact. So once you tell me, okay. I can call him and then look. Well, I'm not you going to you want to just stand by with him and then uh, I'll see what I can work out with Echo here. Yeah, so he's he's got a only thing they found as an adult is a sexual battery charge less than 12 years. He's as as an adult. As an adult, but when I look at the statute, it only says battery. It only says battery, aggravated battery, felony battery. I'm sure that would fall within a felony battery. You know? I don't. I think so, because it's a whole separate charge, and it's very specific. The person has one prior conviction for battery, aggravated battery, or felony battery, and he permits the second or subsequent battery. It's pretty specific as far as batteries go. Hey, we're ready to figure this out here. Yes, sir. Are you on the phone with the boss, man? No, my girlfriend's trying to figure out what's going to happen to my son when y'all arrest Okay, well, uh, why don't you go ahead and get a hold of the boss and tell him you're going to need somebody to come down to fill in for you. Yeah, unfortunately. Hey, sir. Hey, how soon can you get somebody to the store? I'm going to jail tonight. Yeah, they're taking me to jail. I don't... I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to jail tonight. Like this, this, there they are. They're, they're like, I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. They're waiting to, like, Chin's calling me because they have to fucking replace me. I'm going to jail tonight. Can, I, I guess can I, can I just call you back in a second? She says she's going to call the chief and everything. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. She's upset for, for no reason. I think that she um, wants immediate satisfaction. Yes, sir. Yes. And hey, can we're I doing an investigation. Can, there. Can, it's not can I open the door for like, my replacement? Are they here now? Are they here now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I, 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 she's okay. like, what's going on? Yes, I was like, we're doing the investigation stuff. Yeah. yeah. And she was upset at everything. Um, hey, are you guys taking me right now? Yeah, we're going to... have five minutes? Do it like... Hold on, hold on. I, I'm yeah. just trying to... Is this the boss? Yep. Hey, sir, this is Officer Kleckner with St. Pete Police. Uh, good, thank you. Uh, we had an incident down here uh, where your clerk was a suspect uh, for throwing a drink at one of the customers. So uh, we have probable cause to take him to jail tonight, so we got to take him. Um, do you have someone that can replace him fairly quickly? Oh, okay, she's here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry she's here. Your, your uh, other employee just showed up. Yes, it's it's. <clears throat> yes, sir. It's considered battery. It's a yes. Yes, it is. And uh, what about the customer for the drink at you? What's going to happen to him? She didn't throw the drink at me. She just pushed him at me. It's it's not the same. I was wrong. I'll admit it. Um, sir, that depends on if the cops are okay with that. I don't have a choice. No, I, I need to get my store open. Let me talk to cops then. Hold on, what, hold on, hold on your, one second. You're on speakerphone. Yeah, hold on. What, what's your question, sir? My question is, can we not open the store for public right now? Yeah, of course you can. If uh, you got an employee here that's uh, able to run things, that's uh, up to you. Okay. Can, 
Can I just pack she, one? Do you know? Do you have everything you need to do the job right now? I have his codes. You have yes. everything you need. Yeah. All right. She'll be. Then you just it, turn around and put your back. I can't smoke a cigarette. No, we, we can't stick around here and do cigarette okay. smoking. Just put your hands behind your back for me. I'll figure it out, Mom. All right, one ounce, hold the camera. I'll figure it out. There's a pressure right here. Okay, I'm going to make this comfortable. Turn your hand this way. There you go. Not too tight. I only ask because everybody uh, always complains once they sit in the back of the police car. Oh, my hands hurt. These are too tight. It's uncomfortable. Nothing else we missed on you here? Um, it, you want to leave the hat with her too? Yes. Okay, I'll please, give that back to her please, too. Please, please. Have a seat for me. Nothing else on you we didn't miss? No, I can't. Nothing here. I'm in the prison, then you want to take them off your hand. I don't no, care. No, you can put There's your slides back on them. All right, just have a seat for me.